Hey everybody, and welcome to Something You Should Practice this weekend. Please do not be alarmed. We're just getting ready to do some painting in here. Same color, just sprucing it up a little bit. So that's why everything's off the walls. All right, let's get into it. We talked about a tag last week, a little tag phrase for the key of B. And I got thinking a lot of times when I talk about the formulas for little tag phrases, one of the things I always say is just go from one root note to another. So it might be, you know, and using basically an octave. So, you know, so you're going from here to, or so from here, but there are tags that we can do that actually just go from one note back to that same note. So I'm going to teach you one of those for the key of C today. It's a great tag and it also works as a formula for other keys. So, so we're going from, we're going to start here. So let's say we've got a, a break. That's how we've just ended it. And now we want to do one of those little tag phrases. So our tag is going to be. So we're going to go down, but come back in and bring that same root note in as our ending note. So we're starting on C, so low A2. That's the last note of the end of our solo or our fill or whatever it might be. Open. D3. Low two. Now low one on D, up to one. Now leave it there, but just add low A2 back in. And then you make a nice C chord by doing that. So it's two. So, you don't even have to move from one octave to another. You can just leave it, leave your original note, and come right back to it, and end it up in a double stop. So, that's a really efficient and convenient way and we still get the dub, the half steps in there that we love so much, you know, cause we want to be cool and we don't have to move too far or stray, you know, or think about, oh wait, where's the other C or anything like that. So you just stay right where you are, kind of duck out from it and come right back to it. I hope you enjoy that. Happy fiddling everybody.